happening mm -hmm, in a period of time. Mm -hmm. So it's not over. Mm -hmm. The situation is not over. It's not over. Mm -hmm. It continues. It's ongoing. Okay? Now, the simple tenses. The simple tenses are used for situations that are completed. They are completed. They are over. They are over. They are finished. You did it, and that was it. You are doing something else now. Okay? So that's the difference. Continuous tenses are ongoing. They're happening in a period of time. Com uh, simple tenses are completed. They are over. You finish them. Right? So, if we consider that, in the first question says, what kind of movies have you been watching lately? Have you been watching? Been watching, because you say lately. So it means that you are watching the movies right now, but you are going to continue watching movies. It's not the only movie you are watching. I mean, it's not that you watch the movie and that was it. You're not going to watch any more movies. No, right? You will. Eventually, you will see another movie. So, very good, Nidia. How, what kind of movies have you been watching lately? Now, it says, well, mostly horror movies. So, one more time, mostly I've been watching. Very good. I usually... Oh my goodness, cannot see very well, Nidia. Cannot see very well. I usually. Oh my goodness, cannot see very well. Cannot see very well. But I guess it says watch three or four horror movies a month. Actually, I've been watching a great horror movie last night. Okay. Okay. What do you ladies think? First of all, Ladies, what does actually mean? What does actually mean, ladies? What does actually mean? What does actually mean, ladies, in Spanish? What does actually mean? All right. What do you think, Caro? What does actually mean? No, ladies, no, actually doesn't mean actualmente. This is a very common mistake. Actually, it's a false cognate. It's a false cognate. Do you understand false cognate? A false cognate, ¿qué significa false cognate? False cognate es una palabra que se parece a otra palabra en español but doesn't mean the same, pero que no significa lo mismo, ¿ok? So, actually, es un, co un falso cognado, se parece a actualmente, but it doesn't mean actualmente. It means de hecho. De hecho. That's what actually means, de hecho. Mm -hmm. So, you say, de hecho... I a great horror movie last night, anoche. I anoche, ¿qué será? I no es I've been watching. ¿Cómo tendría que ser? I a great horror movie last night. De hecho, yo I I what ladies? Great, Nidia. Good job. I watched a great horror movie last night. Very good, Nidia. Very good. Now, number two. Anna, have you ever lived in another country? Good job, Nidia. Because you say, have you ever lived? Alguna vez has vivido. So, it's over, right? You live there, but you don't live there anymore. 
and you say, Joel, yes, I live in two other countries. I live in Canada for three years after I left college, and I've been living in Kenya until the last June. Uh, okay, Nidia, it's very good, but the problem is in here. You don't say I've been living in Kenya until last June. You say hasta el junio pasado. Hasta el junio pasado. So it is over. Ya se acabó. It's over. How would you say? Yo, Kenia, hasta. Very good, Nidia. I live in Kenya until last. Good, very good, Nidia. Good job. Okay, Christina, you look great. What's your secret? Julia, thanks. I eat a lot of vegetables. A cold brain lately. Oh, it's not correct because it says lately. Lady, tell me, what does lately mean? in Spanish. What does lately mean in Spanish? Very good. It's like ultimamente or recientemente, right? Ultimamente or recientemente. Very good. Now, so we have uh, yo muchos vegetales y eh, trigo, granos de trigo recientemente. Yo, muchos vegetales y granos de trigo recientemente. What do you think? No. Is that something you're not doing anymore? Es algo que ya no vas a hacer. Ah, es algo que vas a seguir haciendo, ¿verdad? O sea, lo estás haciendo ahorita y lo vas a seguir haciendo. So it's ongoing. So you might say, I, it's okay, Caro, very good. It's I am eating. Thank you, Nidia. You were missing the am, Caro. Very good. I am eating a lot of vegetables and whole grain lately. And I always, I always what? Six small meals. I always eat six small meals a day. Yes, I just Eat a salad for lunch. Very good. Very good, Nidia. Four. Uh, how long have you been poetry? Mm -mm. No. Because it's not uh, been writing. Sorry, sorry, Nidia. It's how long have you been writing, right? Right. You need both together, right? Okay, it's correct. How long have you been writing poetry? Kim, mm, I guess I've been writing poetry for about four years. I grow almost every day if I can. I write, sorry. Yesterday, I, for almost three hours. Mm -mm, this is not correct. Because it says yesterday. So you did it and that is over. So it's not that you are doing that. It's you did it and that's it. You finished. I grow. I grow. Good. Excellent, media. Thank you very much. Okay, now let's see the next one. How long have you been studying English? I've been studying English for five years. Good. Have you ever lived in another country? No, I haven't. What kind of music are you listening to these days? I have list pop music. No, this is not correct, Nidia. I have listened. No. It says what kind of music? No. 
What kind of music are you listening these days? These days, these days, in estos días, these days, what kind of music are you listening these days? What do you think, Carol? What kind of music are you listening these days? I. I. Ay, 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 ay. What do you think, ladies? No. No. Si yo te pregunto, ¿qué música estás escuchando estos días? ¿Tú qué dirías? Good. I am listening. I am listening. Good. I am listening pop music. In salsa music. Oh... Sorry, sorry, Nidia. The problem is that I cannot see very well. <laughs> is that you did it with pencil? You know, it's not very clear. Mm -hmm. But it's okay. If it is there, it's okay. Sorry, Nidia. It says number four. What kind of TV shows do you watch? I watch cartoons. Very good. What did you do during your last vacation? I went to the beach. What were you doing at this time last week? I work a lot in the school and for the afternoon I went. Okay, let me help you with this one, Nidia. You say, I work a lot in the school and not for the afternoons. You say, in the afternoons. In the afternoons. I went to politic meetings. All right, ladies, remember, for example, here, uh, Garo Grow Salsa Music, right? First is the adjective and then the noun. Primero va el adjetivo y luego va el sustantivo. You say salsa music, pop music, horror movies. Uh, I don't know, academic meetings, political meetings, uh, I don't know, administrative meetings. Mm -hmm. If you say in the afternoon, mm -hmm. aunque sea por las tardes, you say in the afternoon. Okay? Good. Good. Okay, ladies, let me see. Was it? Was that it? Let me see. I guess there was another homework, right? I guess there was another homework. Let me see. Oh, yeah, here is it. Give me a sec, ladies. There is another homework. I need to, to send it to me. Have it right here. There we go. Here is the other homework. Good job. Good job, Nidia. So it's a simple. Are you used to talk about routinary activities are completed at a certain moment? Good job. Continues to be plus ING. Are you used to talk about 
ongoing activities which are taking place in a period of time. Good job, Medium. I watch TV every night. I'm watching TV right now. I studied English yesterday, completed. I was studying English yesterday. So when you say, when you say, I studied English yesterday, it means you're not gonna study today. But when you say, I was studying English yesterday, it means you probably will study today. You see the difference? You say, I, I studied, boom, you studied, you finish. You say, I was studying, probably you can study today more again. Mm -hmm. How long have you been living here? I've been living in Ometepec. Let me see. See, in a Metepec city for 25 years. 25 years, wow. Ometepec is a beautiful place for, say, okay. You might say, Ometepec is a beautiful place for, you can say, for living, or you can say, to live. But you cannot say for live. You say Ometepec is a beautiful place for living, or Ometepec is a beautiful place to live. Okay, if you say for, if you say for, you need to say ing. Tiene que ir con ing. Okay? And when you say to, well, no lleva ing. Okay? Have you ever lived in another city? No, I haven't. What kind of music are you listening to currently? I love Christian music. All Christian music, Christian music. All right. I currently listen to pop music. You say to pop music. I like to listen to, you, you always say to, listen to, always, always, listen to. I listen to media, I listen to caro, I listen to music. I always say listen to. When I'm stressed, when you say cuando me estreso, when I'm stressed. Esto ya lo habíamos visto, ¿se acuerdan? You say, you say, you say I'm Stress, you say estresado. And you say the movie was stressing. La película era estresante. Mm -hmm. Stress, stress. Mm -hmm. Say stress, estresado. Stressing, estresante. Okay, ladies? What's your favorite way of spending an evening? And what do you do? Well, I like to watch action movies. Action, only action, no actions. Action. Every weekend, uh, I watch movies with my family. Okay? Good job. Good job, Nidia. Good job. Mm -hmm. All right, let's continue on. Mm -hmm. All right, Caro, if you can, do your homework and send it to me. So I can check it. Okay, Kato? That's gonna be good. If you can if you can do your homework and send it to me, that's gonna be good. Okay, ladies, let's continue. Oh my goodness, today there is no internet, so I am connected with my cell phone. <laughs> All right, let me see. Mm. Okay, here we go. Uh, there we go, is this one. Okay, all right, ladies, let's continue on. So, um, so it says, lesson B. It's a long story. Mm -hmm. Building vocabulary and grammar. 
listen to Dan's story, answer the question. Okay, so here we have four questions, ladies. Question number one says, where did Dan live before he moved to Seoul? Question number two says, why did he want to go to South Korea? Question number three says, how did he get his job there? And question number four says, what is his new company offering him? Okay, all right. This is what we are going to do, ladies. We are going to work today with a reading strategy. Mm -hmm. Reading strategy. Mm -hmm. This reading strategy is called scanning. Mm -hmm. Scanning. Mm -hmm. Do you know, ladies, the scanners? Do you know the scanners? Yes or no? What is a scanner? What is it? What is a scanner? What, what do we use a scanner for? Okay, the scanner, the computer, yeah, but what is a scanner? Uh, no, be a scanner. A scanner. What is it? A scanner is a is a little machine. No, it's una una maquinita, right? That scans a document, que captura el documento, right? And put it in the computer. Y lo pone en la computadora, right? Yes or no? Yes. Very good. So, scanning means that scanning significa eso. Have you seen the scanners? ¿Han visto los scanners? ¿Cómo pasa una luz por el documento? The paper is right there and there is a light, like... Okay, that is a scanner, right? The scanner, right? Quickly, rápido. Very good. So, scanning means that. Scanning significa eso. When you see the text and you just check it really quickly, y lo lees muy rápido, right? And you just need to identify Keywords, nada más identificas keywords, mm -hmm. palabras clave. Mm -hmm. So you find a keyword, encuentras una palabra clave, boom, and then you pay, pay attention to the whole sentence. Y pones atención a toda la oración, right? And you find the answer. So you find keywords, you read the sentence, and you answer the question. It's that easy. You scan it, lo, 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 lo rápido. you find a keyword, encuentras una palabra clave, you read the whole sentence, lees la oración, and you answer the question. Y respondes la pregunta. This strategy is very good to save time. Es muy buena para ahorrar tiempo. Because in the evaluations, in the certifications, Everything is against time. Todo es contra tiempo en las certificaciones. TOEFL certification, CENI certification, Cambridge certifications are with limit time. Tienen tiempo límite, right? For example, in TOEFL, you only have 40 minutes. In CENI, you only have 20 minutes. In Cambridge, you only have 30 minutes. You have limited time to finish. Mm -hmm. So it is important to use the strategies. Por eso es importante usar este tipo de estrategias, right? Just to do it quickly, para que rápido termines, and rápido you find the answer. Okay, so we're going to scan the text. So what you ladies are going to do, what I want you ladies to do, lo que quiero que hagan is precisely that. Okay, so I want you Use this strategy, quiero que usen esa estrategia, to answer these four questions, okay? So, you will scan the document, van a leer la pregunta, for example, where did Dan live before he moved to Seúl? What is the, the, the most important, the keyword? ¿Qué palabras clave tenemos aquí? Move, that is one keyword. Before, 
that is one keyword. Seul, one keyword. Leave. So you see. Lo, de, lo escanean. You find. Ah, move. Está aquí. Ah, okay. What does it say? ¿Qué dice? Ah, it, it says that he before went to blah, blah, blah. And you answer the question. Okay? You have only two minutes to answer the four questions. Two less, right? Only three. Three minutes to answer the four questions. Les voy a dar tres minutos para que contesten las cuatro preguntas. Three minutes. Only three. No more. Okay? Are you ready? ¿Están listas? Yes? Okay. There we go. Ready? One, two, three. Go. Check in the time. Right, ladies, you got one minute, one minute, ladies. Right, ladies, five, four, three, two, one, zero, zero, that's it, time's over, finish, stop, stop, ladies, stop, mm -hmm. okay, ladies, Hello. All right. Did you ladies finish? Did you finish, Carol? Did you finish, Nidia? No. Oh my God. How many? Is the, two questions. You finished two only. Oh my God. And you, Nidia?
two. Oh my goodness. So you gotta finish two and you need to finish two. Okay, okay, okay. Let's take it easy and let's analyze the answers together. Okay, so I guess you finish number one, two, right? Number one and number two. Okay, all right, ladies. I'm gonna say this in Spanish. Les voy a decir esto en español. La mayor parte de las personas que toman un examen de certificación, aunque sepan mucho inglés, hablen perfecto inglés, es más, pueden ser nativos, ¿no? Pero siempre salen mal en reading. ¿Y por qué salen mal en reading? Porque se les acaba el tiempo. Porque no alcanzan a contestarlas. Usualmente lo que hacen las personas en reading es que ven la, ven la pregunta, leen la pregunta, no, espérate, de hecho no, no ven la pregunta, perdón, usualmente lo que hacen es leer todo el texto, y una vez que leen todo el texto, tratan de entenderlo, a lo mejor una palabra no lo entienden, las dos palabras, y tratan de entenderlo, y tratan de ver que, de qué significan esas palabras que no entendieron, y tratan de adivinar el significado, y ya después de que ya están seguros, leen la primera pregunta. Leen la primera pregunta y la intentan contestar. ¿Pero qué crees? Como no se acuerdan, vuelven a leer la, la, el texto y buscan la respuesta. La encuentran, contestan la pregunta. Hasta ahí llevan dos veces que leyeron ya el texto. La primera vez para entender de qué se trataba y la segunda vez para buscar la primera pregunta. Después van a la segunda pregunta. No se acuerdan, vuelven a leer el texto y encuentran la segunda pregunta. Ya van tres veces que leen el texto. De ahí van a la, a la tercera pregunta. Una vez más, buscan, leen todo el texto para buscar la respuesta. Ya van cuatro veces que leen la, el texto. Y de ahí la cuarta pregunta. Otra vez vuelven a leer todo el texto y buscan la respuesta. Y hasta ahí van cuatro, cinco veces que leen el texto. Entonces, eso les quita tiempo. Porque están lee y lee y lee el texto muchas veces hasta encontrar las respuestas. Y como les quita tiempo, pues entonces se les acaba el tiempo y entonces salen mal en su evaluación de certificación. Y no es una cuestión de saber o no saber inglés. Es una cuestión más bien de no tener las estrategias de lectura eh, correctas. Entonces, esta estrategia que les estoy comentando, scanning, es muy importante. Porque si tú aprendes a hacerlo, puedes ahorrarte mucho tiempo. ¿Ok? Por ejemplo, vamos a poner un ejemplo. La primera dice, Where did they live before he moved to Seúl? ¿Qué hacemos? Boom. Entonces, vamos a buscar rápido. Para empezar tenemos que que las preguntas por lo general aparecen en orden. ¿Qué quiere decir esto? Que la primera pregunta, su respuesta, va a estar en el párrafo 1 o 2, no más allá. No va a estar en el 3, va a estar en el 4. Va a estar en el párrafo 1 o en el párrafo 2. Entonces, en lugar de leer toda la historia, yo simplemente leo la pregunta y voy a buscar la respuesta en el párrafo 1 o en el 2. Y no voy a leer todo. Voy a leer solamente las palabras eh, claves. ¿Cuáles son las palabras claves? Move, Seúl, Live. Ahí están, solo esas. Busco y ya vi, ya vi que ahí en la primer párrafo está Seúl hasta abajo. ¿Ya la vieron? Aquí está Seúl. Y ya vi que por acá está Live. Entonces, eso quiere decir que probablemente ahí está la primera respuesta. Entonces, yo leo todo la primera oración y dice, Dan Anderson was born in the U.S. Now he's living in South Korea. We ask him, how did he end up living in Seoul? Entonces, ¿qué dice aquí? Dice que él primero vivió en USA. Muy bien. Y listo. No necesité leer todo, solamente la primera oración. ¿Ok? Listo. Muy bien. Vamos a la siguiente pregunta. Dice, ¿Why did he want to go to South Korea? 
Why did he want? ¿Por qué quería irse a South Korea? Entonces tenemos aquí una palabra clave. ¿Cuál es? Want. Y tenemos otra palabra. South Korea. ¿Ok? Entonces, ya en el primer párrafo no está. Tiene que estar en donde creen que tiene que estar. Va a estar en el segundo o en el tercero. No va a estar en el cuarto. Va a estar o en el segundo o en el tercero. No en el cuarto. Entonces me concentro solamente en el segundo y tercer párrafo. Dice, uh, busco, escaneo, shh, y busco que diga went y que diga South Korea. Busco, a ver rápido. Don't stay before, spend three years working company, planning, living, anything. One day happened before office salesman. I was considering going to South Korea, so they use my mother Korean, ta, ta, ta. Ah, ya encontré aquí que dice South Korea en el tercer párrafo. En el segundo no decía ni want ni South Korea, solamente en el tercero. Uh -huh. Y dice, uh, I was considering going to South, entonces leo, ahí leo porque ahí está la palabra, y dice, I knew, he knew I was considering going to South Korea someday. You see, my mother is Korean and I've always been interested in the culture. And anyway, he leaned over and said, then, this seems to be a perfect job for you. Entonces, ahí está la respuesta, claramente. ¿Cuál es la respuesta? Ok, no, no, no es la respuesta. De hecho, le ofrecieron el trabajo, pero él quería ir porque él qué. For the culture, so we might say he was interested in the culture. Mm -hmm. Ahí está. He was interested in the culture. Very good. ¿Y qué más? His mom was Korean. Mm -hmm. Ahí está. Listo. Ya llevamos las dos primeras. Ni siquiera tuvimos que leer el segundo párrafo. Ahora dice, how did he get his job there? ¿Cómo consiguió su trabajo ahí? Bueno, pues aquí tenemos do, una palabra clave, dos palabras clave. Get y job. No va a estar en el segundo párrafo. Tampoco puede ser, puede ser que esté, ya no en el segundo, porque no te vas a regresar. O sea, las preguntas van en orden, descendente, no ascendente. ¿Qué quiere decir? Que no va a estar ni en el primero ni en el segundo. Puede estar solamente en el tercero, quizás esté en el cuarto. Pero no creo que esté más allá. No creo que esté más allá. Entonces, escaneamos rápidamente la segunda ya vimos que no está y rápidamente, perdón, el tercero y rápidamente vemos el cuarto y el cuarto dice ah, remember to apply, decide to go, ah, you expect to get, get, aquí está una palabra clave, get. Uh -huh. Y aquí es otra palabra clave, job. Escaneamos y vemos que están dos palabras claves. Y como ya vemos que están dos palabras claves ahí, que también están en la pregunta, entonces rápidamente leemos el párrafo. Ya no buscamos más, solo eso. Dice, I look at an I remember thinking should be bothered to apply. I decided to go for it even I didn't expect to get it and to make a long, short, a long story short, I got the job. Entonces, ahí está. Dice, Caro, the company offered to trans him to Seúl. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Ok. The company offered to transfer to Seúl. Ok. Y dice, 
que él aplicó para una compañía, aquí nada más lo que faltaría, eh, Caro, es he applied for a company which offer, y ya la, ahí sería, which offer to transfer him to Seúl. Listo. Uh -huh. Apply for a company, we shall offer him to transfer to me. Y de ahí vamos a la última. Dice, what is his new company offering? ¿Te das cuenta, por ejemplo, te das cuenta aquí, Caro, cómo, por ejemplo, tú te adelantaste y ya respondiste la cuarta uh -huh. en lugar de la tercera? Ok, entonces la tercera nada más es he applied for a company. Lo de offer to transfer him to Seúl, eso ya tendría que ser en la cuarta, porque una vez más les repito, las preguntas van en orden, no van en desorden, van en orden descendente. Entonces la tercera nada más sería he applied for the job. Así. Y ya la cuarta ahora sí sería. Dice company y offer, y rápidamente vemos que aquí está en el quinto párrafo, company offer. Dice, the company offer transfer me to Seúl. Y entonces la cuarta respuesta es, the company offered him to transfer, a transfer to Seúl. Offer to transfer him to Seúl. Y ahí está. Y así funciona esta técnica del scanning. Y ya no necesito leer el último párrafo, ya no lo necesito. Es más, hasta ahí. Yo nada más necesito leer hasta aquí porque es todo. Y listo. Me ahorro mucho tiempo porque no tengo que leer todo el texto. Solamente busco palabras clave y sobre esas palabras clave trato de responder. All right. Ok, give me a sec, ladies. Give me a sec, please. Sorry, Lady, sorry. Yes, I'm back. Ok, all right. Nidia, Caro, did you have any doubts? ¿Tienen dudas acerca de esta estrategia? Esta estrategia la vamos a ir practicando en otras lecturas que tengamos. It's very important, very important. Muy importante que ustedes la aprendan a desarrollar, porque si no, el día que ustedes hagan su examen de certificación, pues, aunque tengan muy buen nivel, van a salir bajas en reading, que es lo que le pasa a todos los maestros que yo he conocido, tienen muy buen nivel, pero salen bajos en reading por el tiempo. Ok. Doubts, questions. Claro, media, doubts, questions. Everything is alright. Everything is cool. No problem. Ok. Good. Alright, good. If we don't have any problem, let's continue on. Vamos a continuar. Alright? So, it says... Um, Can you sort the pairs in bold, a bold into the correct categories? Which pairs are followed by an ing and which are followed by a verb in two? So you see, ladies, we have some verbs in bold. Si ¿Sí dieron que hay algunos verbos in bold en negritas, right? So I want you, ladies, please, to grind on this table all the pairs that next to them you have a verb with ing. For example, end up. And up, you got end up, and in the first paragraph we have end up, leaving. So leaving is with ing, so we write it on this table. Mm -hmm. But then we have happen, happen, after happen, we have to, happen, to be, so we write it on the second table, because it's happen to. Mm -hmm. So, ladies, please, first, write on the chat all the pairs which next to them 
are with ing please write them on the chat all the verbs which are followed by a verb in ing please Okay, planning on living, remember thinking, started working, miss living, imagine living. Good job, Nidia, good job. Okay, now, Nidia, I want you to write all the verbs which have two. Now, all the verbs which have two. Now, all the verbs with two. Job and you now all the verbs with two. Seems to be, bother to apply, decided to go, expected to get, offer to transfer. Good job, Nidia. Very good job. Okay, ladies, look. In English, when we have two bears together, we need to separate them. For example, when I say, I like dance. Like is a verb. Dance, other verb. So I need to separate the two verbs. And I can separate verbs with two, or I can separate the verbs with ing. So I can say, I like dancing, or I can say, I like to dance. But always, always, you need to have one, I mean two, or you need to have ing. You cannot say, I like dance. This is not correct. This is not correct. This is incorrect. 
when you say I like to dance, sorry, I like dance is incorrect. You say dancing or you say to dance. Okay? Now, verbs can go with ing, can we too? Only with ing or only with two? No, 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 no. Listen, listen. Some bears, some bears can go with both, but some bears can only go with one. For example, enjoy. I enjoy. Sorry. I enjoy watching. TV. You only say enjoy watching. You cannot say I enjoy to watch. This is not correct. It's incorrect. You say I enjoy watching, not enjoy to watch. Mm -hmm. Now, I learn. to speak English. You say, I learned to speak English. You don't say, I learned speaking English. This is not correct. This is incorrect. You say, I learned to speak. You don't say, I learned speaking. That's not good. That's not correct. Okay? So, some bears like like can go with both. But some bears go only with ing. And some bears go only with two. And probably right now you ladies are like, oh my God. And how do I know what bears go with ing and what bears go with two? How do I know what bears go with both? Don't worry. Take it easy. Check. We're going to see it. Mm -hmm. The birds that you have right here, ladies. Oh, my God. Sorry, sorry. The bears that you have right here, for example, planning on leaving, remember thinking, started working, miss leaving, imagine leaving, those bears only go with ING. Seems to be bothered to apply, decided to go, expected to get, offered to transfer. Only go with two. Okay? Those go with two, those bear with ING. Now, no todos los verbos always go after a verb. No todos siempre se juntan con otro, right? There are some bears like. Hay verbos que nunca van a ir con otro verbo, right? So there are only some birds that can do that. Here we have more examples. Aquí tenemos más ejemplos. Example. Bear's complements. Bear plus ing or to plus bear. Bear plus bear plus ing. Aquí tenemos los verbos que van con ing. Consider, finish, imagine. Miss, mine, spend. Okay? I finished reading the newspaper. I spent three years working in Tokyo. Bear plus particle preposition plus bear. Hay verbos que después del verbo llevan una preposición y luego van con ING. For example, end up, keep on. Think about, plan on. How did you end up leaving? ¿Cómo terminaste? End up, terminar. ¿Cómo terminaste viviendo aquí? Keep on. What is keep on, ladies? Cuando dices keep, es guardar. Pero cuando dices keep on, what is that? Hello. Yes, 
When you say keep on, what is keep on? You don't know. Carol, do you know? No? Okay, don't worry. Okay, you say keep on means continuar. Keep on, continuar. Mm -hmm. Now, think about, what is think about, ladies? Think, pensar, and think about? Pensar en algo, pensar acerca de algo, very good. And the last one, plan on. Plan on means planear hacer algo. Cuando planeas hacer algo, right? Plan on. For example, you say, I plan my classes. Yo planeo mis clases. I plan my classes. When you say, I plan on traveling this vacation. Yo planeo viajar estas vacaciones. It's different. Cuando quieres hablar de algo que planeas hacer, you always say, siempre dices, plan on. Ok? For example, I wasn't planning on leaving Japan. Mm -hmm. That's how you say it. So, after this pair, después de estos, you always use, siempre usas, que, tú o ING. What do you use, ladies? Tú o ING? ING. Good. No, Caro, no, you use ING. No. You see, Caro, you're lost. Es medio perdida, ¿verdad, Caro? Yes, I see. Okay. Now, next. Next. With this, you use tú. Con esto usas tú. Agree, decide, happen, hope, sing, intend, expect. For example, they agree to play for Korea, to pay for Korean lessons. I didn't expect to get the job. Mm -hmm. That's how you say it. And with this, y con esto de acá abajo, you can use ING, puedes usar ING, or to, any of both, any of both. Example, bear with different, remember, stop, try. I stop talking to him. I stop to talk to him. Ahora, ¿esto qué quiere decir? Quiere decir que si lo usas con alguien, G significa una cosa y que si lo usas con tú significa otra cosa. Por ejemplo, cuando dices I stop talking to him, means yo dejé de hablarle. Yo dejé de hablarle, o sea, ya no le hablo, ya no platico, ya no hablar. Stop talking to him. And we say, I stopped to talk to him. Ah, que en ese momento dejaron de hablar. Pero si se hablan, o sea, siguen siendo amigos. Nada más que en ese momento ya no le hablaste. No te callaste. Ya, no te digo nada. Sigue hablando, ya no te digo nada. Right? You say, I stopped talking, ya no le hablas, ya. Ya no son amigos. And I stopped to talk, en ese momento guardaste silencio. That's different meanings. Mm -hmm. ¿Ok? Pues you can say tú o ING. Puedes usar el tú ING. No problem. ¿Ok? Now, begin. Other pers otros verbos que también usas con tú o con ING. Begin, bother, continue, start, like, love, and hate. Should I bother applying? Should I bother to apply? Or I continue teaching English, or I continue to teach English, or I begin to go to the gym, or I begin going to the gym. No problem. Okay? All right, ladies, ladies, doubt or 
questions, doubts or questions. No doubts, no questions, ladies. Yes, Nidia, this is the new book. Sorry, Carol. <laughs> no doubts, ladies? It's okay? Okay, ladies. Well, as you can see, como pueden ver, somebody, alguien me hizo el favor de rayar este libro y ya tiene las respuestas. I don't know what happened. I don't know who did it. But don't worry. I have another activity for you, okay? So let's do this activity. This activity is from the workbook, okay? So we're gonna do it here on the workbook because this is already done, okay? So for example, here we have more examples. Let's take this as example. Vamos a tomar this como ejemplo, right? It says, um, let me, let me, let me see. It says, uh, uh, how did you end up studying here? Ah, sorry, 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 ladies. I didn't read this part. In conversation. In conversation. Mm -hmm. Begin, bother, continue, like, love, and hate are followed one by two. Love pair. The star is followed by her. Love I and Es más, se puede hacer, siempre puede ir begin to bother or begin to, uh, to bothering, sorry, begin bothering, pero es más común decir tú que ING, y con star es más común decir ING que tú, but both are correct, they are both correct, okay, good ladies, so it says, how did you end up studying here, my friend recommend this school, so I decided to sign up for this class, how about you? Well, I wasn't planning on learning English, but my company offered to pay for my classes. I agreed to come, and here I am. I want to keep on taking classes if I can. To keep on taking. Mm -hmm. How did you get to your current job? It was a long, it's a long story. I started working there as an assistant and I spent months just hiding papers. I didn't mind doing that for a while, but then I happened to hear about a new sales position. I never intended to be a sales rep, but now I can't imagine doing anything else. Mm -hmm. You see how it works? Okay, now let's practice this, ladies. This is a word book. time but it's almost gone take it easy no it's right here mm -hmm. oh my goodness there you go okay it says 
completed the paragraph with the correct form of the verb. Mm -hmm. Complete the paragraph with the correct form of the verb. Mm -hmm. So, ladies, I want you please to complete the paragraph using the correct form with to or with ing. Yes, of course, Carol, I'll send it to you. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right, you cannot see, Nidia? No lo puedes ver? No lo puedes ver? Why? It's too small or why? What happened? Okay, we say, Nidia, we say, I can't see. You don't say, I don't see. Si tú dices, I don't see, you're blind. Significa que estás ciega. No veo. Oh, no veo. I'm blind. Right? So, you don't say, I don't see. You say, I can't see. Okay? All right. It's too small. Okay. There is, hay una, una cosita aquí en la pantalla. Right? Que dice que si le aprietas, te da la pantalla completa y la página se hace del tamaño completo de tu pantalla. So, just click it on there. Dale click ahí. It's up. Está en la parte de arriba. Right? Dice full screen, en mi caso dice full screen, no sé en tu caso cómo. Ok, I just want you ladies to send me the answers, mándenme las respuestas, do it please. See you, see you, see you, bye bye, bye. see you.
Rhyme is right there. Tomorrow. And I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah. Thank you, man. Bye. Yeah. Ladies, I send the picture to WhatsApp. No, I said it. Ladies, I send you the picture to WhatsApp already. Okay, you have it on the WhatsApp. Uh, it's the same picture. I just want to do it right now so to check if you ladies got it. Nada más quiero ver si lo podemos hacer ahorita para ver si quedó claro, right? If there are any doubts or anything, I'll give you any how more homework. So I just want you to do it right right now. You know, picture already on the WhatsApp. You can send me the answers here. All right, ladies. Right, thank you, Nidia. Oh, um, Caro, another thing you can do, Caro, otra cosa que puedes hacer, Caro, es que nada más copies la liga. Uh -huh y la pegues en tu Facebook, Ajá, la liga que te mandé, la copias y la pegas en tu Facebook, y desde tu Facebook la puedes abrir, así más rápido la puedes hacer desde ahorita, eh, porque si no, no te terminamos la clase, si quieres hacerla de una vez, digo, si no, pues a ratito yo te la mando, o mañana te la mando, y ya de tu Facebook la puedes abrir de tu computadora. Ah, y entonces sí tendrás que esperar a, a, a pues, mañanita que te la pueda mandar. Ok. All right. Just do this activity, please. Send me the answer, ladies. I'm waiting for the answers. Please. What is your email, Caro? What is your email? It's what? Caro? No. Carolina Chuka 89? Oh, yeah, I have it right here. Let me see. Mm -hmm. I'll send it already, Caro. I'll send it already. So probably might receive it. Mm -hmm. I send it already. Ladies, your answers, please. Begin. Bean. Ah, yeah, be here. Okay. Good. And the next one is just that the beginning now when my friend Samuela happened. No moving, no. No moving, no. To move. Very good. She needed a roommate so i i agree
to share very good an apartment with her in the city we were only in the apartment a couple of months when Samuel started to miss home she said she missed She said she missed uh -huh. She said she missed said she missed to be with her family. I guess she couldn't imagine I guess she couldn't imagine She couldn't imagine staying mm -hmm. three more years and be happy. So she decided. To complete, not to complete it, only to complete with no D. The semester and then she transferred to a college back. She, she, she transferred to a college back home anyway. I keep the permit and found a great job. I've been here for over six years now, so, but Samuela and I are still good friends. We've never stopped grinding each other so we call each other all the time just live in different cities that's all very good ladies thank you very much okay ladies okay mm -hmm. good job nidia okay it says how did you end up doing that group work has anyone in your group done these things find out the whole story and the follow-up question okay we're not gonna do this because we don't have a microphone, unfortunately. Hopefully we could have the microphone, but well, we don't have it, okay? So we're gonna stop right here today, ladies, and we are going to continue next class on Thursday. For homework, you have this activity, which is activity three, mm -hmm. this activity, and you have this activity. Mm -hmm. Activity one and activity three. This is in the workbook. This is in the workbook. It's page uh, four and page five. Okay? That's for homework. Okay, ladies? Activity one and activity three. You have two homeworks. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, yeah, sure. Sure, Nidia. I'll send it on the WhatsApp. Mm -hmm. Sure, I will. Uh huh. And well, ladies, I'll see you on Thursday. Okay? Thanks to you, ladies. Thanks to you. Uh, I'll see you on Thursday. Have a good evening. Okay. Bye, goodbye, 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 goodbye. Yeah, at five. At five. Bye bye. Bye, ladies. Take care.